Hey everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Lunar 2 Eternal Blue Complete for the Sony PlayStation. Uh, last time we had just saved Mori and arrived at the entrance to the Red Dragon Cave, so let's go ahead and pick up there. Um, I've already, between the last video and this one, I've just been clearing out most of the cave of enemies and picking up the treasures, so I'm just going to do a brief run through and show you um, how to get through the cave and where the treasures are and what's in them. Uh, right there was a holy hairpin. Obviously that's going to be for Jean or Lamina. I think I ended up giving it to Jean because she's on the front line taking damage more often. Up there is a healing nut. Not that great of a chest, so if you skip it, I totally understand. I wanted to, but I figured, eh, since I'm in here, why not? Uh, heading over to the left is a chest with a life jewel. Again, another one that you can grab or leave, it's up to you. And you may be noticing, um, where are all of the enemies in here? Like I said, I've been clearing it out, running back and forth between defeating them and out to the entrance to use the statue. But, um, important note, the enemies do not regenerate in here, so as you kill them, they will not come back. So, if you're having a tough time, in here was, um, Dine's armor, upgrade for hero. If you're having a tough time, you can, you know, defeat a few enemies, run out and heal, and then run back in. It's also a good place to build your levels, too, if you're lagging behind a bit. Um, what was I saying? Okay, so, <laughs> uh, back to pointing out treasures, heading over this way, you want to head down and to the left first because this, uh, this area of the dungeon does not loop around, so here we'll notice two of them, right there was a tiger armlet for Jean, up there was a passion fruit, which I believe passion fruits fully heal you, I've never really looked, yeah, it recovers all HP for one person. Up here is an Ogre Crest, if you're curious what the Ogre Crest is, uh, allows penetration attacks. I have no idea what that means, actually, I haven't even really looked into it. A lot of the descriptions in this game are not, um, not as like, accurate as I would like them to be, or just, a lot of them just don't make sense, like, oh, what does that even mean, penetration attacks? Does it mean you can, like, strike through defense? I don't know. If you head over this way and up really quick, there is a starlight in that chest. <laughs> Obviously I haven't cleared out all of the enemies in here, which is why that slime is still there, but... I got bored, so I am done fighting. I cleared most of the main paths, though, so this shouldn't be too hard to get through. And yeah, over those little those flames bursting out of the ground, I don't remember if they damage you, I know they do freeze you in place a bit, so... Uh, that gives... Ugh. We'll find out. Did I get damage? See, no damage. It just freezes you a bit and gives enemies a chance to attack you. Uh, down here was a holy water. Not that great. Again, another totally skippable chest. Uh, up in that box is a water ring. Did I equip anyone with that? I don't think I did. Where's the water ring? Is that it? Decreases thunder and fire damage. That'll be nice when we fight the boss of this level. Uh, up there, I believe, was an angel's tear. So yeah, this is just giving you the most direct route through the cave and showing you what's um, what the treasures are and where they are. Heading down here and to the right, there's a shield ring right there. I had that on Jean for a while, or do I still have it on her? Oh, I still have it on her. It says it decreases damage caused by attacks. I don't know if that means attacks in general, or if it's just physical attacks. Honestly, having it on her, I haven't noticed that much of an improvement, so, you know, may not even be worth it. That's an angel ring right there. And then if we head, um, well, if we head up here first, there's a chest over right there with an angel's tear in it. And then finally heading down this way, there is, um, a uh, starlight in there. And that brings us to pretty close to the end of the dungeon. You can see the boss right there, so we're going to do a little bit of prep work right here. Gene, I'm taking that off because I don't think it's that useful. I'm going to put the water ring on because we are fighting a fire-based enemy. Um, let's see, who else could use one? Because we have, um, where's the wind ring? The wind ring's the other one that decreases fire and earth damage, so... could get that to Ronfar for this battle. Or I could give it to Hero. I'm probably going to give it to Ronfar just because... I don't know. 
I want him to survive. So if he's taking a lot of fire damage, I want to have most of that. So we'll give him that for this battle, and then we'll put his... Where was it? The barrier ring? Is that what he had? Yeah, we'll put that back on after. Other than that, I don't think there's too much prep work for the battle, so that should be, um... That should be good enough. I'm going to make a quick save, though, just in case. Yeah, sometime today game, that would be great. There we go. Okay. So now we can fight the boss. This would be the Red Fiend. Um, has a total of 11,000 hit points, which I know that seems like a lot, but hopefully it won't be too damaging. Ronfar, we're going to make use of Divine Litany. All allies are going to regain HP after every turn. That's going to be very nice. Um... And then, let's see, for Jean... Uh, da, 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 da. Jean, we're going to want to use um, probably White Dragon Protect for this first round, because you can see that Ring of Fire under him. That means he's going to cast a very damaging spell, so you definitely want to prepare for that. Lamina... Um, uh, I don't know if she's going to get her turn... Oh goodness, I don't know if I should, because he's going to fill the field with the fire element, so I feel like I should cast that. I'm going to, I guess I'm going to do it just in case. I'm counting on the fact that the boss is probably going to get his turn before Lamina, so we'll see. If Lamina ends up being, I mean, she's never faster than anyone, so I would be, oh wow, okay, really? That means I just really... Wow, okay. I think that actually eliminates the... The Resurrect spell, too. Or, the Resurrect spell. The, um, the HP regaining spell that I just had Ronfar cast. So... Um... Or did it? No. No, I guess it didn't. And so you can... In the bottom right corner there, you'll notice that, um... There's a little fire icon. That means the field is filled with the, um with the, the fire element, of course. Um, Ronfar, I'm gonna have you just sit there and defend for right now. Jean, since you don't have to use White Dragon Protect, she's gonna go to her default of um, Blue Dragon Palm, of course. Lamina, I'm gonna have to have you use that again because I didn't realize she was gonna get her turn before the boss. Yeah, this is going to be a rather lengthy battle, I'm sure, with 11,000 HP, and I haven't even, like, started doing damage yet. What kind of damage is that going to do? See, Jean only took 69. That was good. Probably a good idea to put that, like I said, that flame-reducing ring on her. Okay, uh, everyone's going to do the same things this round. Ron Far. I could have him heal Lucia. I don't know if she would heal herself. I can't depend on her to do that. So, yeah, don't trust her. Uh, let's see here. Let's see, he's got a little pentagram underneath him. What's coming next? Uh, I think, oh, that means he's going to boost his attack power and stuff. So, not much you can do about that. Attack went up. Ooh, attack went up a lot. I'm going to see if maybe I can dispel that. I don't know. Lamina's probably got something in her arsenal that can take care of that. Oh, and I'm already at nine minutes. This is probably going to be a really long battle, you guys. Apologizing in advance. Um, okay, so that one... I think that means he's just going to attack one person, so we should be fine for that. Ronfar, you don't really have to heal anyone. Jean, Blue Dragon Palm, Lamina. It cancels out stat altering spells. I'm going to try and use that, actually, and see if that works. We'll see if she gets her turn in before him again. I think it's dependent upon what attacks you choose. Like, if you... Yeah, see, he's going to get his turn in before her. Ooh, Jean, don't die on me. Oh, 65C. Oh, good, yeah. 
The smartest thing in the world you guys can do is equip that fire damage reducing ring on her. Yeah, I may not even worry about dispelling, honestly. I might just go on an all-out assault here. Oh, I mean, how much damage? Oh, she did 500 damage? That's really good. I haven't been paying attention to how much damage we've been doing per round, so... Yeah, you go right ahead and you attack the two of them, that's fine. Honestly, this guy has been, yeah, not too difficult thus far. As you can see, he's about to bust out his, um... This attack that fills the field and attacks everyone, so that means Jean is... Ooh, she's only got one of those left, so... Have you do that, and then someone's gonna have to restore Jean's MP. Probably, I'll probably have Ronfar do it. He usually doesn't do much healing, or hasn't thus far during this battle. And again, I'm not paying attention to damage numbers, so... Uh, anyone see how much damage we're doing per round? Hopefully a lot. Gotta be doing at least a thousand per round, especially with Lamina doing 500 on her own. And yeah, good for you. It's not gonna do anything though. Okay, so hero, you're gonna do that. Run far. We're gonna have, like I said, we're gonna probably have him heal Jean's MP because she's gonna need it. Hopefully, he restores enough. If oh, and let da da da, -da Lamina, don't forget to erase the flame element off the field. Okay, so she did 400 here, did about 300, so that's 7. We're doing about like 1200 per round. It should only take about 10 rounds or so, I would imagine. Ooh, that did 100? Oh, because she didn't get the erase magic in in time, that's why. See, now you can see the effects of that when the field is turned to flame element. The, the fiend is going to do more damage. But again, nothing too, too bad. Hero, Pose, Sword, Ronfar... Uh, you better use another one on Jean, because she's going to need at least 50 MP to cast that White Dragon Protect, so... And Lamina did... I think, yeah, she erased the element, so we can go back to casting Ice Arrows. Although I should have probably had her cast a spell Magic on him. But I don't think it'll be that bad. I think it's, it's more important to have the flame effect erased from the field than it is to dispel the fiend's boosting. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Nice knowing he was attacking Jean earlier. It wasn't that bad. And you'll notice he does go through a steady progression of the same moves. He's got like a cycle that he goes through. Bonfire, you can just defend since you don't have to do anything else. Jean, you can use that. Lamina. Again, I'm, I'm just going to go for damage. I don't think it's that big of a deal if we leave him with his little attack boost for like a round or two. If it gets really ugly, then I'll go ahead and dispel it, but right now I think we're okay. 74. Eh, that's not bad. She's rec I think she's even like regaining that much per round even. Let's see how much she regains here. Well, 61. 61 out of 74, that's still, yeah. She's still regaining more than he's really doing to her. Well, not really, but you know what I mean. Blue Dragon Palm. What is this movie he's doing? I don't even know what this is. It's not the move where I need White Dragon Protect yet, so... Oh, and he's dead already anyway. So yeah, 36,300 experience points. Hero's going up a level, and I guess he's the only one. Anyway, we're pretty much out of time for today, you guys. Uh, when we come back, we're going to go into the furthest reaches of the Red Dragon Cave and see what's waiting for us. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.